What's up guys, it's Andrew Pugh here with Beta AT Productions and Publishing bringing you a tutorial on how to use Gross Beat. This is going to be a very basic tutorial on how to use it. Uh, we're going to go through the preset folders and shit like that. So, uh, so right now I just have this basic raw piano melody using Nexus that we just plugged into the mixer channel. Do that, you just pull it from here to from that to there. And we put, yeah, so there it is. <laughs> now we're going to go in and grab Gross Beat. Gross Beat will be in everyone's FL, or Freddy Loops uh, software, because it's designed by ImageLine, I believe. So if you're not using FL, I don't know what to tell you. Sim that's simple as it is. Um, there's probably a way to get it, but I don't know, because I use FL and Pro Tools, but only FL for beats. All right, anyways, so we're going to add Gross Beat. Now you get this monster. Right here, I like the different time segments. So, and here's like the points that it'll tell you. So if we put in a point right there, which we right click. So you see that how it kind of shifts over there. So, and it, that's just holding it. Now we're not gonna get into a lot of that stuff, mostly because you really like uh, uh, image line has designed pretty much presets that cover every possibility like they got things to make it half the speed double the speed and a whole bunch of different things so we're going to show you guys that now what i normally do is i go over to click reduction and i go to high um that just uh makes it smoother there's less uh clicking which is why it's called click reduction. And it's how you get more of a melodic sound. Uh, but it does use up more CPU. But I don't really care because I can handle it. And I don't think, I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this uh, little preset click reduction is in FL Studio 10. I think it's in 11, I'm not sure. And obviously it's in 12 because we see it. So basic, now it's just, all this green stuff is time right right here now if we went over to the volume this is going to change the volume so if we pulled the volume all the way down well what do you think it's going to do cuts it what do you think it'll do if we put it halfway cuts the volume halfway I think that was halfway at least there you go so they have a lot of different effects so like you could do like fourth beat gate gate in fourth beat out side chain which i would never use this side chain uh, maybe some people but i just would But anyways, we're gonna just go and move on. So we're gonna go to, so I mean, most of you guys could really honestly mess with this stuff um, because I mean, this is a standard stuff and here's like different volume mix and like time and all that stuff. So we're gonna go to a uh, flanger or flanging. So this is, I guess, how much it mixes in. It's like very subtle. So like it's pretty much just gonna add like a flanger. Now if so this is like how much it's gonna mix in. And yeah. So now we're gonna go to momentary. So momentary is just pretty much just gonna do different momentary effects. So two beat repeat. 
different like effects. Now what I normally use in here is half speed. So here's uh, 1, 1 over 2. So 2, 1, 2, 1. 1 over 2, what's that? That's half. So, <clears throat> 2x speed, well, here's, so I mean that's, so yeah, I mean, here's all the different effects, and I mean, you could do different little things, so it's like you can mix and match with like the volume and like the time. So here's all time and here's all volume. So we're gonna go back to empty. Um, now we're gonna go to patterns. Now in here, got different little patterns. This is uh, actually the standard, so we're not using this. What I mean by standard is when you first pull up gross beat, it goes here. So we're gonna go to pitch shift. Now pitch shift is a cool thing, I guess. It really, uh, there's a lot of clicking, so I always do click reduction here, and even still. There's a little bit of clicking if we use empty, but de-click uh, cuts out the volume at all the points where um, the top hits, so it kind of reduces clicking. So, so hopefully I'll, like that, you can see what you could do with that. I'm going to go to presets. We can go to repeater now. So now it's just going to repeat different things. So you can really create weird shit with this, I guess you'd say. Uh, we're going to go to presets now. Stutter. Different little stutter effects, you know. So yeah, I would never want to <laughs> change this stuff around, but whatever. Okay, so now turntable is so there's gonna be different little turntable effects. I always just put it empty. Ah, oh, shit! Delete that. So. If you guys want to know how you do this, pretty much you right click, smooth, gonna click in right there, click in right there. <laughs> so that's kind of how you guys could do different effects with that. Now, you could even add more gross beat on top of that, <laughs> which I don't know if we would really want to do another gross beat on top of this one, but for the sake of tutorial's sake, we go to half speed. That doesn't even sound that bad. So, it's kind of like the basics of gross beat. I know that probably doesn't answer a lot of things. Uh, so, uh,. Oh, we're gonna do this. Get rid of these ugly. So there is one little thing I do want to talk about, because I screwed up one time, and I uh, didn't really do it right. So one time I guess I clicked on random stuff, didn't know what I was doing. I didn't look over here, because right over here it'll tell you pretty much what everything is. So right here it's snap to ha half eighth or one over eighth, one eighth, not half eighth. <laughs> here's snap to one six, here's snap to one fourth or a quarter, and here's a uh, third. But we're gonna do uh, snap off, and I, when I was doing this before, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, so I was clicking random things, and I was like, why is this not snapping? 
We're gonna delete that. Go over one eighth. Now it snaps. Lovely. Snapping on gross beat means the world. I truly mean that. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot of different things. There's even things I don't know everything about. Here's a quick way to switch from time to volume. Time, volume, time, volume, time, volume, time. So, uh, hopefully that kind of makes sense and kind of teaches you guys. Uh, I don't really, what I kind of just showed you is kind of like what I use. I don't really use a lot of the things. Gross beat's really cool, but a lot of the effects that are in that you could do like on your own and without it. But gross beat, in my opinion, is great for doing like half speeds, uh, muting stuff. And for those of you guys that don't know how to mute, again, we're gonna pull it all the way down. Mute. Now that we fade, boom, cool. Create an automation clip and then you could create fades and cut out volume without messing with your mixer states that's just how i do my volume cuts because i hate messing with these uh mixer states or volume mixer volume channels uh because yeah it can be a bitch getting the things to right level and that's just because i just knocked the headphones out god i hate that shit but um yeah so hopefully you guys uh learned and kind of had the brief rundown of how to use gross beat that's really the main stuff a lot of that stuff you don't really need but gross beats is another tool to help you guys produce um as i said i'm not the expert of gross beat i just use it for a couple things so uh, I might actually look into the more fine details of gross beat and uh, look up some more complex stuff and if there's anything worth talking about or bringing up I'll do a more advanced tutorial but this is probably the best way to really break it down in a very simple way so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment like share subscribe all is welcomed so we have videos coming out every day, so if you guys enjoy this video, let us know, and see you guys later.